Welcome back to In Case You Missed It. Kathy Wood has gone on record saying SpaceX hits a trillion dollar valuation, data centers in space, as the primary driver for that kind of exponential growth. Space is cold, and they assume cooling is easy. Like you can just, I don't know, open a window. That is the single biggest misconception in aerospace thermal management. Space isn't cold, it's a thermos. A vacuum is the best insulator in the universe. It's designed to keep heat in. So a computer in space is basically trapped inside a perfect thermos bottle. Exactly. The chip generates heat, and that heat has nowhere to go. It just builds up and up until the silicon melts. So it just cooks itself. Mm -hmm. That's problem one. So even if you solve the cooling problem, you might get to orbit and find your computer's been shaken into a bag of broken parts. SpaceX wants to build the next layer of the internet in space. But standard tech can't survive the trip, and if it does, it overheats immediately because standard cooling fails in a vacuum. When I hear Bitmine, I think Bitcoin mining. Of course. It sounds like a crypto play, not an aerospace play. And that is where they started. It's easy to dismiss them because of the name, but you have to look at what they mastered to mine that Bitcoin so efficiently. They didn't just plug in computers, they specialized in immersion cooling. And crypto mining, well, that was just the stress test. It was the training ground. Okay, so let's demystify this. Mm -hmm. What is immersion cooling, mm -hmm. technically? I'm picturing dropping a toaster in a bathtub, which I know is a bad idea. It's pretty much what it sounds like, but with a critical twist. Instead of air, you submerge the entire server motherboard, GPU, everything, into a tank of a specialized dielectric fluid. Dielectric being the magic word there. Right. It means it doesn't conduct electricity. You dip your computer in water, you get a short circuit, it's ruined. This fluid, you can run electricity through it safely. But the magic is that it conducts heat incredibly well. Much, much better than air. Okay, so the computer is sitting in a liquid bath. How does that solve the vacuum problem in space? It removes the need for air entirely. The chip is in direct contact with the liquid, so the heat transfers instantly into that fluid. No fans needed. You just pump that warm fluid to a radiator on the outside of the spacecraft, and that radiator sheds the heat away into space. So you're swapping a convection system, which fails, with the conduction and radiation system, which works perfectly in space. Okay, the engineering case is strong. The m &R has the tech that solves the physics. But cool tech doesn't always mean a good stock. Let's move to topic four, the smoking gun. Because the tech is one thing, but Kathy Wood writing a check, that's another thing entirely. And this is where the source material turns into a bit of a detective story. The report claims ARK Invest has acquired over $180 million worth of BM&R shares. For a small cap company, that is aggressive. That's not a testing the waters position. That's a we want to own this company position. It's a high conviction bet. But what's really fascinating here is the breadth of the buying. The source notes it's happening across multiple funds. ARKK, which is their innovation fund, ARKW for Next Gen Internet, and ARKF for FinTech. That's significant. A crypto miner would normally just sit in the FinTech fund, right? Exactly. If it were just a play on Bitcoin's price, it stays in FinTech. But being in all three tells you something about ARK's internal view. They see BMNR as a platform technology. Meaning it enables multiple different sectors. Yes. They view immersion cooling as the foundational layer for fintech, for the internet, and for innovation like space and AI. It just cuts across all the verticals. It suggests they believe this tech is going to be everywhere. And the timing mentioned in the report is uh, suspicious in a good way. The secret accumulation. The report points out that Kathy Wood started loading up on BMNR before she publicly announced her big thesis on data centers in space. So she secures the position, and then she announces the vision that makes that position valuable. That's standard operating procedure for the big players. You don't tell the market what you're excited about until you've already bought your ticket. It shows she believes this isn't just a possibility, but an inevitability. She wanted to lock in that price before the rest of Wall Street connected the dots. It's a classic information asymmetry play. She saw the physics problem, found the company solving it, and got in before the market even realized there was a problem to solve. And that puts ARK right in the driver's seat as this narrative unfolds. Okay, so we've got the tech, we've got the big institutional backer. What does the future look like? Topic five maps out the 2026 upside roadmap. The report breaks this down into immediate, mid and long term. The immediate term is actually tied to their legacy business, which we shouldn't ignore. BMNR holds significant treasuries of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Which, here in January 2026, is a pretty nice asset to have sitting on your balance sheet. It provides a floor. It's a safety net. 
As crypto prices rise, the company's book value just goes up immediately, regardless of whether these space deals happen tomorrow or next year. It gives them capital to operate. And that buys them time to execute the aerospace pivot. But the midterm is where the fireworks could be the aerospace speculation. The report predicts a parabolic move in the stock price if a formal partnership is announced, and it explicitly lists the giants, SpaceX or Blue Origin. Let's just play that out. If BMNR announces tomorrow that they are the official thermal management partner for the Starship Data Center program. The market re-rates the stock instantly. It stops being priced like a Bitcoin miner, which trades at a low multiple, and it starts being priced like a defense contractor or an aerospace tech firm. And those multiples are just vastly different. Oh, yeah. We're talking about going from maybe 10x earnings to 50x or 60x, because suddenly you're not just chasing the price of a coin. You are critical infrastructure for the next 50 years. And that leads into the long term, industry standard. This is the part of the report that feels the most ambitious. This is the pivot from niche to utility. The source describes BMNR transitioning into, like, the plumbing of the AI age. If you're the go-to solution for high-density AI cooling, whether it's in a rocket or on Earth, you become essential. Like you become the intel inside. But for heat. Right. You can't run the AI without the cooling. The chips are getting way too hot. NVIDIA's new chips, the ones we're seeing now in 2026, are toaster ovens. You literally cannot cool them with air anymore. BMNR becomes a gatekeeper technology. That is a massive shift in identity. Yeah. From we mine coins to we make AI possible. And that's what ARK is betting on. They're not betting on the miner. They're betting on the infrastructure pivot. Okay, so let's wrap this up. We've covered a lot of ground here. Let's try to summarize the logical chain for everyone listening. Yeah, sure. Step one, Kathy Wood bets the farm on SpaceX becoming a trillion dollar company. Step two, she identifies that this isn't about rockets launching. It's about what the rockets carry, data centers in space. Step three, physics dictates that you cannot run data centers in space with fans. You need immersion cooling to solve the vacuum and the vibration. Step four, ARK is aggressively and quietly buying the leading immersion cooling player, BMNR, across multiple funds. And the conclusion. The report's verdict is that BMNR appears to be ARK's silent partner. They believe BMNR is the only company that can make SpaceX's data ambitions physically possible. For our listeners, for you out there, this is such a classic lesson in second order thinking. It really is. It's easy to look at a rocket landing and say, I want to invest in that. It's much harder but often more profitable to ask, okay, what problems does that rocket create? The rocket creates a heat management problem. Who solves that? The headlines are about the fire, the money is in the cooling. And the silence. The fact that this accumulation happens so quietly is the most telling part of this whole thing. Smart money moves in silence. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more.